Hello there guys and welcome to another vlog. In this vlog I travelled up to the lovely Lake District. I went there yesterday and my intention was to get some nice uh, dreamy shots with like the kind of mist on the water and you're going to have to wait for the video to see if I actually achieved that. What I can say is later in the day the sky was totally blue and as you know it's plain blue skies. Plain blue skies just don't work for me. So that's what happened later in the day. So I was a bit annoyed with that, but you just need to sometimes just go with what, what you're given really. And I, I kind of control the weather, but what I certainly can do is before I go anywhere on a shoot, I can do a little bit of research and keep an eye on the weather. And I think, um, yeah, it, it was a bit of a downer, but I suppose being a photographer, a landscape photographer, you have to work with the conditions you've got. And I suppose the difference between a pretty good one and a pretty poor one is when you're stuck in that position with the weather that you've got producing good uh, pictures is what you're after and I think I did okay but I'll let you be the judge of that so please do hang on to the end of the video and I'll show you some of the shots that I got other things I've been up to this week I went out and took a couple of shots of uh, a couple of different waterfalls and I've shot hard draw force and the Yorkshire Dales then Harmby Falls and Wensley Falls as well. Here we'll have one of the biggest single drop waterfalls in the Yorkshire Dales. This is Hardrow Force and I had this idea for this image in my head for a long time and I finally got it put it into practice. A bit of an extreme selfie. You can see me there on the left hand side of the frame and I just really like the drama of this shot. The second is Harmby Falls. I've been along to this falls a few times but I, I don't know, I think this day things really come together quite nicely. And again, I really like this image. The third and finally shot is Wensley Falls. I think I need to go back and do this one again. Um, I think there's, there's too much water in the bottom part of the frame. There's too much white. It's kind of dominating the picture too much. And I'm also waiting for the wild garlic to come out with its flowers to see if I can get a shot from the side of the waterfall, which I think would look quite good. So we'll wait for that. I think as landscape photographers, we often would go out there to, to shoot like fantastic shots and it doesn't really always come together as you've, not, you've noticed probably by my vlogs. So sometimes a little bit of patience, a little, definitely planning goes into it. It's a very expensive hobby landscape photography and not just the fuel and everything else, but the, but the amount of equipment that you have to buy and stuff like that. And sometimes it can get a little bit frustrating, which maybe comes across in my videos sometimes. It, it can be quite annoying when everything you put into it um, doesn't come together. So I suppose without further ado, why not let's jump into this latest vlog and go on a visit to Derwent Water. Let's see if I got those shots that I was after. So I've arrived at my first location. This is beautiful Derwent water in the Lake District. It's quite cold at the minute. It's just about, just above freezing. I'm hoping to get a nice um, sunrise. That's the aim of today. So stick with me, see if I can manage it. I've photographed here tons and tons of times before, but actually when I think about it, I haven't got any one picture that, that really like is a stunning shot. So you never know what you're going to get <laughs> as the saying goes fingers crossed who knows I, I mean I don't know but I want to go get my kit and get down by the lake and yeah let's go make some pictures So I'm not really feeling it here in terms of getting a, a good picture. Um, 
I might have to move around where there's some boats over the other side so because the, the fog or the, the mist is so close I think that might be a better option just to get some better compositions because at the moment it's it's yeah the visibility is terrible <laughs> but I'm probably going to move and, and do that So I'm at the next location, unfortunately the sky is really blue, there's not much I can do about that but that's just the way it is I suppose. I've been trying to take a picture of these uh, rocks behind me, they're called the Millennium Stones. They're like carved out uh, with like an intricate pattern if you like, almost like a maze pattern. So I'm getting a shot of that. I'm shooting at ISO 100, an aperture of f16 thereabouts, one second exposure. I've got the polarizer on as well just for to cut down on the glare a little bit. But yeah, as you can see, the sky, again, is blue. It's a blue, it's a blue thing. Not the best, but never mind. I suppose we're going to crack on. Okay, so I think I've finished at this location. I don't know where I'm going to go to next, actually. I think um, I'm toying with climbing up cat bells, but when there's no clouds in the sky, it's really difficult to make that decision because I could climb all the way up there and for nothing, just a blue, blue sky of nothingness. <laughs> Sometimes, though, it's just nice just to savour the sounds of um, the birds and that when you're down here it is a lovely day to be honest but yeah the blue skies are my worst enemy I hate them <laughs> clear blue skies I don't mind blue skies with clouds but ah oh, it's just so frustrating I don't know I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking of what to do maybe I might have a go at cat bells it's just difficult because when there's no clouds in the sky, it's almost as it. The other option is I could go photo, uh, photograph a waterfall <laughs> just for a change. Oh, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Should I go photograph a waterfall? Ah, oh, I don't know. 
Let's see. So, I'm on my way to this Lador Falls. Uh, I can hear it in the distance, but uh, I don't know how good it's going to be, but might as well give it a go to see what it looks like. Another waterfall up my list. <laughs> yeah, let's see how, what we get. So I've just been down to the waterfall, the door falls, and yeah, what's the best way to describe it? It's a bit busy. It's difficult to get any composition, really. There's that much going on, the water's really fast. So yeah, it was just a struggle, really. Nothing, nothing that, that great, really. Um, it was just okay, but hard to get a composition. I'll put the shots up for you that I got anyway. So I'm at Ashness Bridge. I've been here tons of times before. I've got quite a few nice shots of this uh, bridge actually in the waterfall, so. But we'll see what we can get today. What I have noticed, and you will notice from the footage here, is the highlights are all blown out with a strong sun, so I'm gonna use a three-stop ND filter just to darken down the top part of the picture, really, and uh, try to match it with the foreground. So I think three stops is about right, and I want to pop that in the camera, have a go with that, and yeah, let's do it. That's me done now here in Derwent Water. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. It's really much appreciated. Um, if you've not checked out my website, here's a link. I do sell prints online. So if you like my work and want to purchase a print, that's where you go to that link there. Uh, what I would say is my next video, I want to get a little bit of color in my shots for once. And I want to go up to the Dales and maybe up to Roseberry Toppen to shoot some bluebells as well. So look forward to that. Please do wait until the very end of the video where I show you the best shots from today and you can wait and see to see if I got the shot I'm after and see if you can guess which one it is. I'll tell you, it's number five, it's my favourite. So wait for those shots. That's all for now. Do take care, stay safe. That's a wrap. <laughs>